What was a sketchy cheat buy that ended up being one of your best purchases? Seed packets from the dollar store. While in college my boyfriend and I were broke. Really broke. But I still wanted to do something to celebrate spring. We were getting a few cheap tea bings at the dollar store when I noticed they were selling these seeds. Packets from a big gold bin that you had to dig through. Four for one dollar. No tax. I immediately begged to buy one despite our strict budget. Boyfriend was incredulous I want to buy sketchy seeds but dutifully handed me a quarter. I ended up picking out tomatoes. Well we got home and I carefully placed about three seeds in washed out cans. I watered them and watched them sprout. I love tending to my little garden. I ended up with three beautiful huge tomato plants. It was a bumper crop. More than we could eat. I sold the extra produce to my classmates. Made like $25. Good seeds. Dad bought me a flannel jacket for $2 from the equivalent of a dollar store. In 1994, wore it for everything you could think of. Wore it yesterday, still going strong after 25 years. It's amazing that the jacket held up. Yes, but, special kudos to you for still being able to fit in it for 25 years. Bought my kitty for 20 bucks on Craigslist from a legit meth addict. I had never had a cat before and this little meow factory has been my best friend ever since. $12 rain boots at Value Village. I've thrashed these things living in rural Alaska and they're still totally watertight two years. Later. I bought a blanket in Mexico in 1986 for $5. I still have it and it is super soft and comfy. It has been abused, washed etc. and it is still in great shape. My dad bought my great-grandmother a blanket from Mexico for $15 in the early 90s. 20 years later I am currently snuggled up in it. It's a huge blanket and has held up so great. I love it. Does it have a tiger on it? LOL. No label old beat to shit vinyl acetate record with handwritten that'll be the day on it. Paid $1. Ended up being a live Buddy Holly recording. Sold it for $970. At the end of a long road trip with some mates, I bought a $20 pair of sunglasses in a gas station just outside of Chicago. They fit me better than any pair of sunglasses ever did, or ever will, and they made me look awesome. For years I constantly received compliments about them and was asked where I got theme this year I lost them after five long years and have hated myself for it ever since. They were so no-name they didn't even have a brand name on them at all. So I have no idea who made the monsieur I have no way of finding that gas station. Either. I've literally spent hundreds of dollars trying to find sunglasses that come close to that same perfect fit, style, but I can't share a picture of these shades. Ensure someone will be able to identify theme is here. It's been eight hours. We've lost up just as he had lost his shades. I bought a Game Boy Color and Pokemon from a guy behind an abandoned building. Only after I told my parents did I realize I was in such a sketchy and dangerous situation. I played the crap out of that thing though. I was traveling from a different city straight into work where my uniform was a white shirt, with a conspicuously black bra, wasn't stopping home, so I did stop on the first corner store I found and bought a $5 white bra that looked roughly my size as they had nowhere to try them on, just to wear one night. 10 out of 10, comfiest bra I ever owned. Wore it every day of my life for about a year. It gave and at some point, it was still a $5 bra. But damn. I dream of the day when all my bras fit that well. Stain removers from the dollar store are surprisingly effective. I bought a tube of toothpaste called Right Clean and then when I looked closely, the cap said Colgate, so I'm guessing companies sell their excess supply to dollar stores and just relabel the contents. Or like with a lot of products they are made at the same place and literally only the packaging changes. 
I bought a turtle for $5 in Chinatown and she's turning 3 this year. Edit to add a few things. Chinatown in Chicago which is why her name is Al Capone. We call her Al. I am hoping she will outlive me because I can't imagine losing her. Don't worry I study biology and environmental science. Going in a PhD program. She is treated like a queen. My parents bought me a turtle for my first birthday. She's still alive 30 plus years later. Dot you got a turtle for your first birthday. Not judging. Just jealous tbh. I bought a small turtle from a gas station in Florida when I was in the first grade. Max proudly lived until the end of my senior year. I randomly found a wedding videographer online and booked him for a very affordable rate for my wedding assuming it wouldn't be very good quality. Two weeks after the wedding, he emailed me a high quality, well edited video. He had a drone I hadn't noticed because he was outside of the venue getting b-roll with it before I even started getting ready for the big day. I was floored and now I recommend him to everyone who ever plans to get married ever. Edit. He has definitely upped his prices since then. He did the videography for my wedding last summer. And rightfully so, because he does great work. Do him a favor and don't tell people what you paid him. Dude needs to up his rate. I bought a knockoff backpack in Turkey. It was like $25 and has lasted me longer than other people's $200 backpacks. Clarification, backpacking backpack is in luggage or for overnight hiking. Not a book bag. I got a $20 backpack off a street vendor in NY because we had too much stuff to take in our luggage. That damn thing went to work with me every day for 9 years. I have never had another that good. For any amount of money. I drive cars so old they all still have tape decks. I bought this fake cassette tape with a headphone style plug that comes of it. You put the tape in the player just like it was a cassette and plug the jack into your phone and it uses the car's speaker system as an external speaker for the phone. I was so skeptical of it working because it was all of $5 and I've been using it at least 10 years. And it works perfectly and beautifully. Plus bonus side eye every time I pull it out to use it with someone new in the car. These give you so much better sound quality than those shitty FM transmitters. I had a car with no CD. Just cassette. Tried the FM thing. Then someone gave me their cassette to 3.5mm adapter and it was amazing quality. I bought a button down shirt from the thrift store in the mid 90s that I still wear today. This shirt is obviously even older. It doesn't have much wear on it either. I think it made of rayon and something else. The brand is Kmart. They don't make them like they used to. Does Kmart even still make anything? A little $40 speaker set for my bedroom TV I got in 2006 and still works great. I bought a $17 toaster about 20 years ago and it's still going strong. I was in the market in Shanghai. One of those ones that attract foreigners with knockoffs of nice brands where you're supposed to haggle a bit with the store owner. Walking into an electronics store looking for a portable speaker. Negotiated the store owner down over the JBL speaker that's basically the size of a thermos. I think she originally wanted 200 RMB. And I think I got it for 125. Exchange rate was about 6.50 RMB equals $1. So like $21. The owner went out back got a blank white box and an envelope. Inside the box was a blank speaker without decals. Decals were in the envelope. She then proceeded to put the decals on the speaker in front of me using tweezers for precision. This was my first time in China so it really caught me off guard speaker is amazing, very loud, 6 to 8 hour battery life and perfect for storing in a cup holder. I mostly use it on a golf course which is perfect. Edit, spelling. I bought a fake wood, plastic, mantle clock from Value City for like $10 because I needed something for my first apartment. 
I received a surprising number of compliments on it and was asked more than once if it was a family heirloom because it looked so old. It also lasted for like 10 years until some movers broke it. I was kind of proud of displaying that stupid cheap clock. To the movers, you broke my family heirloom. Quote. That was worth. Mumbles. Dollars. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox. Guaranteed.